Welcome to the Association of Fish and Wildlife Agencies North American Trapper Education Course video series. In today's video, we're going to talk about cage traps. But before you go out and set any trap, always check your state and local trapping regulations. Now let's talk about cage traps. In order to capture an animal in a cage trap, the animal must actually enter into the trap and trip a trigger or step on a pan, which we usually call a treadle, which causes the door to close and capture the entire animal inside the trap. Now that's a lot different than using a foothold trap to catch an animal by the foot, or a body grip trap or a cable device to catch the animal by part of its body. With a cage trap, we're going to catch the entire animal inside the trap. Now while the topic of cage traps may seem simple, it may be a little bit more complicated than you might think. In this video, we're going to see that there are certain parts that make up almost all cage traps. The cage traps come in a variety of designs. Some are used for live capture, and others are actually used underwater for lethal capture. Cage traps only work well also for the capture of some species, not all. What most folks think of when they think of a cage trap is a rectangular shaped cage made out of wire mesh like this. These types of traps have several parts. There's a door through which the animal enters. Some traps have only one door, while others have two, one at each end of the trap, or it can't even be on top of the trap. Some traps may have a spring-loaded door to assist the door in closing faster, or others may simply use the force of gravity and allow the door to drop. There's also a trigger, which may be made of wire, which the animal has to bump in order to activate the door, or it may be a treadle that the animal actually has to step on on the bottom of the trap in order to activate the door. There will also be a catch somewhere on the trap that's part of the trigger system, which holds the door open when the trap is set and releases the door to close when the trigger is actually tripped. Now, let's set a cage trap. To do that, first we open the door, move the treadle or trigger into position, and then engage the catch on the door to hold it open. It's really that simple. Now here are a few things to consider when catching animals with cage traps. First, the cage trap must be large enough to allow the animal to get completely inside just like with any trap, whether it be a foothold trap or a body grip trap, choose the size that best fits the animal that you want to catch. Cage traps come in a variety of sizes, from traps that are small enough to catch a muskrat or a mink, to traps that are large enough to catch a bobcat or maybe even a beaver. There are even cage traps large enough to capture bears, known as culvert traps, but we're not going to talk about those today. But now, relative to size, Make sure the trap is tall enough that the target animal can easily enter without having to squat down, and make sure that the cage is wide enough that the animal can enter without bumping the sides with its body. This will make the animal less wary and more likely to enter the trap. Now many different species can be captured with cage traps, but they won't work for everything. Trappers typically use cage traps for raccoons, for skunks, for possums, for fisher, gray fox, beaver, and bobcats. Cage traps will also work for muskrat and mink as well. But coyotes and red fox are less likely to venture into a cage trap. That's not to say that you can't catch a red fox or a coyote in a cage trap, but it probably should not be the first choice if you want to be efficient with your trapping. Now cage traps generally require bait to entice the animal into entering into the trap, so choose a bait that's known to work well for your desired species. For example, sweet baits like marshmallows work great for raccoons. Fish-based baits will attract skunks and opossums. For bobcats, fisher, and gray fox, select a predator paste bait or a chunk of raw meat. For a beaver, the trap might be set in a run with caster as the attractant, so the animal will naturally just walk into the trap, which would typically have double doors. Cage traps are typically set on land for live capture. But there's also a type of cage trap that can be set in water, which is called a colony trap. The colony trap is typically used for the capture of muskrats underwater in a submersion set, which is a set that's designed to actually kill the animal. When the muskrat swims into the trap through the one-way door, it won't be able to get back out. So remember, while cage traps are easy to set, they only work for some species. You also need to select the right size trap and the right bait or attractant to get an animal to enter into the trap. Good luck with your trapping with cage traps. 
Thank you for watching this video on cage trapping as a part of the Association of Fish and Wildlife Agencies North American Trapper Education course. Be sure and check out the BMPs and all the other trapping resources that the association has on its website. Thank you for watching today.